Welcome, friends. I want to do something a little bit different today. I'm inviting you into my home office. And I have a reason for that. I think it shows you in a non-stage manner what I look at every day. Word for Asia has always been about building bridges from the west to the east. And that means mutual understanding, mutual compassion, and uh, genuine friendships. Every day, when I sit at my desk, you're looking at right now what I'm looking at. A bridge between the West and the East. And by the way, these are not authentic terracotta soldiers. I did not steal them from Xi'an. You can trust me. I would love to have it, I just can't afford it. But uh, it's just a visual reminder. Along with family pictures are pictures of our team. I call them sometimes, uh, respectfully, my kids from China. And uh, this is our life, and it has been now for 25 years. And I would love to invite you to join me in this endeavor of building bridges between the East and the West. Now, as we've just come through the Chinese New Year this past weekend, I would like to say to my Cantonese friends, Fung Hei Va Choi, and uh, uh, I hope that you have a wonderful year of the rabbit. By the way, you can see my rabbit up there on the shelf. What is it, 12 years ago that was given to me by a very close friend and official in China? And again, I look at it every day to remind me of how precious and important good relationships are. We need to be thinking of and concerned about our friends in China. Uh, Mr. Xi listened to his people, and when they loudly protested, he withdrew the lockdown that had been going on in China for almost three years. Sometimes in the West, I think uh, we tend to criticize the people we consider to be the enemy or our adversary, and no matter what they do, they can't do right. When he locked down and concerned for his people, many thought that he was being draconian. When the people spoke up and asked for some more freedom and basically said we're willing to take the health risk, he did, almost overnight. And he had the authority. He said, okay, we're going to let this virus achieve herd immunity, something that we did here in the USA and other countries have. Be loving towards your friends in China now. For those of you that pray like I do, pray for the people of China. Right now, that virus is sweeping through the country. And while no one knows, I certainly don't, what the numbers of mortality are, I do know that it's innumerable and it's many, which you'd expect. Now, there's several reasons for that. One is ageism is a major sociological concern in China. There's many old people like me, and we're the most susceptible to a virus when it comes through. And in the grassroots area, they may not have the same degree of second and third tier medical help that perhaps we have in other places in the world. Uh, it's not a lack of concern, it's not a lack of trying, but many people are dying. Uh, one of our staff's father just passed away this last week. And as a human race, we all have the same love for our parents and the same concern for our family. So I plead with you to set aside for a moment a judgmental spirit and let's be conveyors of compassion and genuine concern for our friends inside of China. Uh, travel. As of the 8th through the 9th, uh, the gates are open again to China if you wish to go. Uh, all of our staff has either been or is there now. And um, 
I don't pretend to have all the mo latest details, but uh, I read in Wall Street Journal yesterday that there's some talk among the officials of China of um, opening up a two-entry visa. Uh, it would last for 18 months. That's not done now. Right now you must seek a, a one-entry visa. For those of us that have unlimited visas, those are not uh, taken at the moment. Whether they will be in the future, we'll have to wait and see. I can tell you that the flights are expensive compared to the pre-19, 219 uh, rates. So be prepared to spend more money. But there are no other restrictions. Buy a ticket, go back to uh, the beautiful Middle Kingdom, enjoy your friends, and renew your uh, relationships. And uh, we'll see uh, what the future holds. My message is simple. While we may have ideological differences, uh, we may have um, religious differences, right now I think is a pivotal time for each of us to focus on what we have in common. So um, do unto others what you'd have them do to you. And uh, I look forward to uh, uh, to helping you any way we can, Word for Asia exists, to help quality nonprofits achieve their objectives legally following policy and regulations in the People's Republic of China. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm being distracted. I'd like to introduce you to a, uh, to a pal of mine. This is Cooper. Uh, Cooper, can you say hi to our clients? Say hello. A Cooper is a King Charles Cavalier. Uh, they say this was the one type of dog that was allowed into Parliament in the UK for a while. Uh, so sometimes when you call me, if you hear a bark bark, probably the moment I picked up my phone, he jumped up on my chair, got on my shoulders, and is listening attentively. Uh, he speaks um, he speaks no Chinese, so on behalf of myself and Cooper. We say, Shai Jin, we'll see you soon.